Hello. Good morning. How you doing? I'm Patrolman Fagan of the Hopacom Police Department. Just so you know, my body cam is on. I'm uh, sorry. That's okay. I'm Patrolman Fagan. Just so you know, my body cam is on. Okay. Okay. There was uh, last night. There was an iPhone that was found that got to this location. I don't know if somebody had it or found it while they were at the mall. It's pinged to this house. And I, nobody's been out here. Was somebody at the mall yesterday? No. Any kids or anything like that? No. My son's girlfriend works at the mall. Is it possible that maybe she found it and it's Did here? Did you find a cell phone at the mall last night? Get upstairs. Come up. <laughs> I know, a lot I'm of snow sorry. this morning. No, it's okay. It, I, the temperature I, yesterday dropped. Yesterday it was 50. Now I know. I'm getting snow We're in shorts yesterday. I'm out of the shower. No, nah, so. it's, it's no problem. I understand. She didn't find anything. She didn't find a phone? So, no. Yeah, we, the report we got was that the, the phone pinged in this location. So, uh, I don't do, know, do I me mean, a favor. If, if it happens to turn up, just, just drop it off at the police station. Yeah, it's an iPhone? It's not yeah, we were out. And we were at my mother's all day yesterday, so I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> okay, you just gotta get your info quick, and we'll get out of here. What's your name, ma'am? Colleen. I'm sorry. Colleen. C O L L E E N. Last name. Uh, phone number. And date of birth. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do you have a time? We can help you with. We don't have the phone. So, so ma'am, the phone is currently pinging here. That means there's GPS evidence that the phone we is... We don't have the phone. I don't understand how that's possible. Okay, well, it, 
it, it still comes back to this address. So we, we got an update around lunchtime, not within the last hour, that it is still here. So. So, so, so listen, right now, it's a lost phone and the people just want it back. The only other option. That, listen to. I, just, you, I, don't, I wasn't even at the mall. We don't have the phone. So, you, you told us when we were here earlier that there's someone in the house who works at the mall, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay, so that, that to me makes makes sense that she was at the mall as well as where the, the phone was lost. Okay, and, and the phone showed last night that it was still at the mall at a time when only employees would have been there. So, so this is going to leave us two options. We have to call a judge and we will get a search warrant for the house. And then there's going to be criminal charges, or we get the phone back, and it's just a, a lost phone that got returned, and maybe somebody made a mistake, picked it up, and didn't get it. Try getting it back to the original owner. Okay, that that that's where it's at at this I can't point. Give you something that I don't have. Well, maybe you need to have a conversation with the person that was here. But I can't give you something that I don't. So maybe a conversation needs to be had with the person that lives here that works at the mall and potentially could have gotten this phone and found it and picked it up and say, hey, listen, because like, otherwise we are going to be contacting a judge and applying for a search warrant. And then your whole house is going to get ripped apart looking for a phone. And then somebody's going to be charged with receiving stolen property. what? Your house is going to get searched to look for this phone. Well, do you know for a fact that the person who works at the mall would never have picked up that lost phone? You, 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 you would bet? I have no... You would bet on that? I have no idea. Okay, well, you need to have that conversation with this person because th th this is the course that it's going to go. It, it, it's a third-degree felony charge based on the value of the phone. And there's GPS evidence that's indisputable scientific fact and a judge will more than likely issue the search warrant for this house. And then we're going to search the entire house looking for a phone. Anywhere a phone can be, we're going to have the right to go into, and everybody's going to be ordered out of the house. And I don't think, we don't want to do that. People make mistakes. We understand people make mistakes. A phone's worth a lot of money. People take them. It happens all the time. But when the police show up, it, the gig's up, and we need the phone back so it can get returned to the rightful owner. Because right now, they're willing to just be, for, forget everything and say, it's a misunderstanding, and we want our phone back. But once we apply for a search warrant, it's not going to be a misunderstanding anymore. There's adequate notice that somebody has something that doesn't belong to them. Well, I don't have to talk to her. I don't have it. I... I'm not saying you have it, but somebody has the phone. And somebody has the phone in this house. Okay. You know how GPS works, right? From satellites? Nobody, nobody's there. I understand that. That doesn't mean the phone's not in there. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So I suggest you have whatever phone calls you need to make and then contact the police station. Because the next time we come back, it's going to be with a search warrant to search this house. Do you understand? Okay, well, I have no way to reach her at the moment. I'm at work. Is she at work? Where is I she? I believe so, yes. What store at the mall does she work at? Victoria's Secret. Okay. We will uh, attempt to handle it from, from there then. And what's her name? Shannon, what's her last name? Uh, Real Muto. Real Muto? I believe that's how you say. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.
Hi, uh, Shannon. Hi. All right. Right after you. Do you have anything in your pockets or anything? No, what do you, let me just check your pockets real quick. Make sure you can look at them. Right. Okay. Just grab a seat here. Thank you. Super stupid and annoying. Central transporting one female from to post one started mileage one five three zero five. Two thirteen fifteen. Through Central arriving post one ended mileage zero seven. We're good after. Just so you know, everything um, we discussed is going to be under uh, body worn camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go from there. Can I get you a water or something? You, no, you have anything else I can get you? You all right? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hang tight for me, real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get what I need and I'll be right back. All right. Again, like I said, we're, everything's going to be recorded, okay? Uh, I'm Officer Jacob, Sergeant Kern. Um, we're just going to, I'm going to read you your rights first, and then we'll go. Okay? okay? You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with an attorney and have him present with you before and during any questioning. You have the right, if you want to consult with an attorney and cannot afford to do so, one will be provided to represent you before and during any questioning. A decision to waive these rights is not final. You may withdraw your waiver at any time and refuse to answer any further questions. Do you understand the rights I have read to you? Yes. Okay.
Okay. So, obviously we found the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, explain to me how, how the phone and you were involved and how everything transpired. Okay, so I was, I got off at like 7, a little after 7, not even. Um, I think it was. Yesterday, Sam, the day before? What day? When, day, what day before. Okay. Um, I was supposed to get brought home by Sam. Sam's one of the managers. Mm -hmm. um, there are, how the store works, you have a few people on one side, a few people on the other side. Okay. Um, there was about three or four girls on one of the sides, and then I was on the other side. I was just kind of like looping. I was kind of in between back and forth um, between the three rooms that there are and then the pink side. Pink side, like I said, three, four girls over there. Um, two of them were talking. Uh, there's a Hispanic girl. Uh, I can't really understand like what she says half the time because she speaks like barely little English. And then there was um, another girl, Irene, Sam. Sam was someone in the managers. She's obviously on both sides. This new girl, and then that Ellie girl. Um, they were all on the pink side. They said something to Sam. I guess Sam took took the phone and was going to go put it in the back. Heather was there, which is our store manager. Um, and they, they basically, like, the three girls over on the pink side, this is what I heard. Mm -hmm. They were, like, going to take the phone, and I have no idea what do what. Um, and they kept saying, like, Sam, take it, take it, take it. And so I, I thought, like, in my eyes, take it, meaning take it, put it somewhere. Where did they get the phone? Um, I guess it was sitting on, like, the, t the main table that's in there, like, where all the underwear is. Okay. So somebody, like, placed it there, I guess. They picked it up, um, and they were like, oh, like, somebody take it, as if, like, not s steal it, but take it and put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought. I was like, okay, I didn't think anything of it. And then the one girl, Ellie, goes, Shannon, take it. And I was like, what do you mean take it? I was like, Sam, like, has to take it. She's one of the managers. Because it happens so often. So, like, when, when you hear that, it's, it's kind of, like, normal, I guess mm -hmm. you would say. Um, Sam ended up grabbing it, taking it, and I get, like, I don't think she put it in the back right away. I think she just placed it on one of the counters that are, like, in the store. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, I didn't see any of it happen. And then Ellie talked to me and she goes take the phone and I was like okay so I grabbed it and she wanted me to like hold on to it and I was like why do you want me to hold on to it just put it on the counter or put it under the drawer so then she takes the phone and then she told me she goes listen like who took the phone Ellie or yeah, Sam Ellie. Ellie. Okay. so Ellie goes um like here like I'll just grab it or whatever they were just passing it back and forth at the end of the day Sam and Ellie yeah and I was just like, okay. I left before they even left, and then I stopped back in again because I was waiting for Sam to get done. Um, our store manager, I guess, was, like, staying late or whatever, so I was, I was going to see if they needed more help. So I was going to clock back in because um, I just ran to Forever 21, grabbed something, um, and then I came back. Okay. And then they, they said, like, there was more customers in, whatever, and then Ellie goes... I took the phone, like, I'm nervous, I don't know what to do, and I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, take the phone, and she's like, put it somewhere. And I was like, why don't you just give it to somebody? Like, I don't want the responsibility. So she left it somewhere, she goes, take it, like, get rid of it. And I was like, no, like, you have to come, like, come grab it, like, I don't want nothing to do with this. I just, hold on, where does Ellie live? She lives somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where. I didn't what, ask what, is, what does Ellie look like? Who's She's blonde, tall, like kind of my, like maybe a little bit taller than me. Um, does she drive herself? Yeah, I believe so. What kind of car does she have? Do you know? I don't. She's. I know she's like fresh as 18. Hello? I know that. Or not like fresh, but she's she's younger than me. Okay. Um, she like moved from the city here. I don't know much about her. Okay. So the phone number you gave me yesterday was the okay. one that, that you have? It was from <laughs> Sam. I don't, yeah. You got it. I don't have her, like, personally saved in my contacts. Okay. So. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Um, and she she was just nervous. And then the other Hispanic girl, I can't, like, even really, like, say, because I don't understand what she says half mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really speak really good English. So it was basically in between those two. Like, they were going to, like, I guess, like, hang out or whatever and do something with the phones. I'm, I'm sorry, because I, I took that phone from the detective. Uh, you don't have Ellie's phone number? No, I personally don't. I got it from Sam. So Sam gave it to you? Yes. To to yeah, I, like I watched her pull it up on okay. her phone, and then that's when I grabbed okay. it. And that was the number you gave last night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so continue. Um, <clears throat> where was I just 
Um, so yeah, basically they wanted to pass it back and forth. They were going to do something with it. I have no idea what. It was just through, oh, this one said this, this one said that. It was basically like just a, a storytelling game. Okay. And I was like, okay. So then Sam goes, I grabbed the phone. She was going to give it to mall security that night, but I guess upstairs mall security, they weren't in the office. There's normally one downstairs that we go, like when we come into the building early in the morning at like 6 a.m. to do shipment, they're normally downstairs right there. So their office is right there, and I guess they weren't in the office upstairs. I guess you try to call. Um, I know yesterday when I called in the morning, I know that I couldn't, like, figure out what number it was because I guess there were several different, you know, ones for leasing, ones for mall security. So, okay. But I did speak to somebody yesterday um, when I was told the phone was dropped off mm -hmm. because when I talked to Sam, um, when she came to pick me up because we were going to go into the city to see the tree and then go to the – What kind of car does Sam have? She has a black car. Um, SUV, sedan. Uh, I want to say a Cherokee. Okay. A black Cherokee. Okay. Um, when she picked me up yesterday, um, we were talking about everything because she said she had the phone, but she dropped it off in the morning. She lied to me because on the way home, when everything happened, I kind of like got really upset, and you know, she said that she was gonna re like report me and get me like if I didn't cover her up, basically. Okay. If I didn't cover her. This up, was on the way home from the city. Yeah, because I ended up like getting really upset, and she was like, "Why aren't you talking to me?" I was like, "Because they showed up at my boyfriend's parents' house. You know, I've been staying with them like for the pe like." Backstory, last five years, I haven't had a steady home. This is my first time I've had a steady home. That affects me heavily, mm -hmm. like, so much. Like, mm -hmm. it bothers me to no max. She lives on her own, whatever. She has her own thing. Uh, sorry, just bugs the shit out of me. That, that had to happen. So, basically, she told me that she was going to um, put, like, the whole entire blame on me if I didn't, like, if I didn't do something with the phone. So, then, she was like, get rid of it, because she, she lied to me, and I knew she lied to me. Because I was talking to my boyfriend hit, and his mom about it, and me, like, not thinking about it. Like, you would think your store manager would have something to do with it, or not something to do with it. Like, they would do the right thing. But, like, in reality, she was just, like, naive, doing the wrong thing, and then just trying to put it on me. And I didn't want, like, any of that responsibility. That's why I got upset. I freaked out. And she goes, get rid of the phone. So I was like, and this is still all coming back from the city. This, no, this was beforehand. Like, I did flip out on her on the way home from the city, but in the morning when she ended, like, I knew she was lying to me the whole entire what, what day. What does Sam look like? She's blonde, too. Me and her actually look just alike. It's really weird. Okay. <laughs> I have a picture if you need, but. Okay. Um, yeah, me and her look very, like, so weird, but um, she said, you know, like, hey, like, hold on to this, like, and I told her, I was like, let's just do, like, why do I have to be, like, why do I have to be, put this on me? She's like, well, I'm, the, I'm one of the managers, like. So when did she give it to you? She gave, she didn't give it to me, but we were in the car at Click Check after she picked me up, and that's when she said, "Get rid of it." And okay. Okay. So. So what after? So she she hands you the phone. She tells you to get rid of it. What happens? I literally just went in the bathroom and I was like, Sam, like this is not fair to me. I was like, you need to like take care of something, like do something. And I told her to call you guys too, because as soon as my boyfriend said, call them, talk to them, see what they have to say. I was like, okay, I will, and that's what I did immediately. Did Sam stay over at your boyfriend's house? No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you so you went into the bathroom. You got rid of it. Yeah. What did you do? Where where did you put it in the bathroom? What did you do with it? I put it right on the sink. On the sink? Yeah, like on the, like the whole table. Okay, and what kind of phone was it? Uh, it was a black phone. And you, and you just left it on the sink? Yeah. All right, Sh Shannon, I don't know your whole life story. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you, you got emotionally upset <clears throat> when you were talking about not having a steady home. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I've been a police officer 21 years. Mm -hmm. You're lying to me. You told lies in this. And this is all going to be easier. Because then at least in our report, we could write, upon confronted with the facts, Shannon was honest. Because in the story you just told us, Ellie had the phone, Shannon, or, or, or Sam gave you the phone in the morning. The phone was at your house overnight. There's GPS proof of it. Satellites. Satellites don't fucking lie, Shannon. Okay? So if you made a mistake, this is like when we talk, when, when we try talking to you early on in the day, people make mistakes. I make five, 500 mistakes a day. Okay? It's what you do after the mistake that matters. Mm -hmm. You're continuing to lie and make up more stories. I'm not. I was being honest about my whole, my whole life story. I was. Uh, yeah, I yeah. had a steady home life. I, I'm not saying you're lying about that, and I believe you. And that's why I would like to help you and be able to write you were honest with us, and once you were caught, you stopped lying. 
You have to take responsibility for what you did. I am. Okay? Because the fact is, that phone was at your house overnight. Okay? And Sam wasn't there. All right. And at 7.30 in the morning, when Officer Jacob knocked on your door and says, there's a phone here. No, there's no phone here. We don't have a phone. You knew it wasn't your phone then. Because if you turned it over then and said, yeah, we found this at work last night. I was going to turn it into mall security when I went back today. It would have been, a, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. I know, and that's what I told Sam and them. I no, said I Sam to... wasn't there. You had the phone that night. But I don't drive. That's why she was going to come grab me. We were... So, so you, you held the, the stolen phone for Sam overnight as a favor? No, I wasn't trying to do her a favor. I was nervous because she said she was going to report me, and I didn't want to lose my job. That's literally it. I'm being so honest. Then, then how come you told us yesterday Ellie is the one that threw it in the garbage can? Because, that wasn't being honest. Because she told me she was going to report me. I was going to lose my job. I knew I was going to get in trouble. I just didn't want that to fall on so, me. So I what do you think is going to get you in trouble? Breaking the law or having somebody that broke the law tell a lie about you at work? Right? I know it wasn't right. Right? Because... And that's why I, I said everything that I said I, so this person could get their phone back. That's why I said what I said. I, they could have got their phone back at 7.30 in the morning. I know, and I tried, and that's why I told no, you. No, you didn't try. You didn't try at 7.30 in the morning. We, we, we spoke all day yesterday on and off. And, and here's the problem. You, you've now, by your actions, one to three police officers at any given point were dealing with this for hours. Okay? We have a job to do. <clears throat> all right? We were going to come arrest you earlier, and he ran into a guy that was so drunk in the middle of the road, driving, could have caused a massive accident. So we, you know, by us looking, sitting at quick check, looking at hours of video, how many other drunks got away that could have hurt somebody? I know. Okay? I, I, I feel sympathetic. I don't know your whole life story. And obviously you've had a hard life and maybe everything hasn't been fair. But you have to be honest about this. I, okay? So, I, so far, did this, everybody had this phone but you, and you're the poor victim? Is that what you're expecting no, us to believe? No. So when you left Victoria's Secret two nights ago, mm -hmm. you had the phone? Yeah. Okay. You went home, mm -hmm. Sam left, mm -hmm. you still had the phone? Yeah. Okay, so... But she also, like, it wasn't just... Did Sam me. tell you to get rid of the phone? Yes. <clears throat> because okay. we're going to call Sam in here and interview her, and she will get charged as well. Mm -hmm. Does that seem fair? It's whatever's... Whatever is that fair? Is, would that be fair to her? Is that accurate, or did you do it? No, there's multiple people that were involved. It wasn't just Sam, too. Yeah, but, but It was also the people that were working on the pink sidewalk who actually took the phone and wanted to do something with the phone. Okay. Everybody but, should be interviewed but, there. But only two people did something overt and brought it to their house. Okay. No people talking about, Ellie talking about take the phone, take the phone, isn't a crime. But taking the steal but it. but taking but you did. I didn't do it to take it because I knew what would I what would I like. What, what were your intentions with the phone? I was gonna return it as soon as Sam picked me up from the mall or picked me up from home to yesterday because I even called. So so why did you not return it then yesterday? I told her to. I wanted to. Like that was my full intention. If so, I drove, I would have so went you, you, by you myself passed, on my own without any of them. Almost through the middle of town, you could have come right to the police station and dropped it off. I could, yeah. And I wish instead, I did. you decided to leave it in the bathroom in quick check. Because I didn't want anything. And, to... and you wrapped it in a news, in a paper towel and threw it in the, in the, into the garbage can because it was wrapped up in a paper towel. It wasn't left on the sink. Somebody else doesn't walk in there and say, oh, look at this phone. Let me wrap it up in a paper towel and throw it in the garbage can. So you lied to us again. Again. I'm just trying to say every, like, it's... No, no. You lied about that, right? One of, one of the biggest things in moving forward in your life and forget your, your, your mishaps in the previous time, one of the biggest things is wearing it on the chin when you're wrong, okay? If you're wrong, which in this case we're, we're almost positive, wear it on the chin. You, yeah, there's nothing more you can do to make this easier other than being honest, mm -hmm. okay? So, I just want, like, the other people who's... We, it listen, wasn't my full we, intention to... We spent, figure it this way, we spent the last 24 hours tracking a phone down, locating a phone in a garbage can, and pinning everything pretty much on you. We're finding more. If you don't think we're going to do more, I mean, that's our job, okay? So we're going to do the due diligence okay, Central, clear. and do that, okay? We need honesty. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Okay? I just think that all the girls, like, we, uh, we take care of the like, from hearing 
everything that like was going on on that on that side of the store like oh like it kind of it, it brought back my my past and I wanted to do the right thing that's why I was I, I still like I swear on everything I told them don't do that do the right thing and my full intention was to not go through all this and to do that I wanted to do the right thing in the very very first place and those were my very first words I swear on who's, that. who's crystal crystal's one of the store managers okay. Did Crystal know about all, everything going on with the phone? No, she wasn't working that day. Okay. It was Sam and uh, another manager, Sharon, and then like three or four other people on that one side, and then the two or three on the other. Because they were all being like weird about it, and I, like, I, I kept ignoring it and ignoring it. What, for what's Sam's reason. last name? Uh, I don't know her last name. So that's what I might know that. You have her phone number though. Yeah. <clears throat> what time did you drop the phone off yesterday? Um, it was like one. Did Sam go in the store with you too? No. Where was she? She was in the car. Getting gas, right? Mm -hmm. Did you get anything else in the store? Or you just went in and out. No. What were you wearing? And you and, and you and you wrapped it up in the paper towel and threw it in the garbage can, correct? Yeah. See how easy that was? It doesn't make it any different if you left it on the sink or if you threw it in the garbage can. Okay. We all make mistakes. Okay. Sierra, my, it just, my, like, nine, very eight, first, like, the thing that upsets yet. me is, like, it brought me back to my past. And, like, the thing was, like, I have changed. And I said, don't do that. And then I, like, I feel like I was just trying to just, I don't know. It sounds like you and Sam are friends, like you ran into the city together yesterday. Well, no, this is the second or third time she's invited me to do something. I don't know her that well. Um, I know she lives on her own, but I don't know her that well. Um, I don't know her that well. 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 I know she like lives on her own. Uh, her dad passed away. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know her that well. But I know, like, I feel like these people... The, uh, like, have really made me be in a bad decision for something like completely yeah, and yeah, utterly yeah, unintentional yeah, because yeah. I have done like horrible things and I didn't want to yeah. go back to that. This is the first time in six months ever since I've been with my boyfriend and his family that I've been like great. Like I've been great. Like I've done everything I could to be great because they make me want to be a better person and have a family and not, not be a, a, a mess up. So like it's, it's hard well, to like... Well, Shannon. You messed up. At the end of the day, you still just messed up. It's a mistake, right? This doesn't mean you can't be a better person. Yeah, but I just, like, I don't understand, like, any time I feel, like, so good, and it's just, like, something has to be, like, almost nearly thrown in my face, and it's, I don't know. I just feel horrible because that, that was never, like, I wasn't like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go steal a random phone. What am I going to do no, with a phone? No. But like, I just wanted to help them, and then I feel like I just kind of had to, like, cover things up Sh for Sh them. Sh Shannon, you did nothing wrong until when there was a knock on the door that the lost iPhone was there, and you started lying. And you continued to lie throughout the entire day, and that's why you're here. Okay? You said that Ellie threw it away to try and stop you from getting caught because you knew you, 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 knew you messed up and you knew you did something illegal at that point, okay? That's why you're in the position you're in, okay? So we'll get Sam's information. We're going to follow up with Sam, okay? Now, I want one of the charges you're getting is hindering by providing false information for saying that Ellie was the one that got rid of the phone, okay? You're getting one charge of that. If we talk to Sam, and Sam has a totally different story and then we go talk to other people at the store, and they have a totally different story, and it all comes down onto you, you're going to get additional ones of those charges. Okay? There should be everybody in the store. So, 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 what, so what I'm saying is, we had, the, we had this talk yesterday. Mm -hmm. Here's your chance. This is, this is, today, this is it. Now, there's not, yesterday you had like five chances. Today you have one chance. Mm -hmm. If Sam wasn't the one that took the phone and gave it to you and then told you to get rid of it. Now's your chance. Mm -hmm. If you just took it, 
and made a mistake, and Sam didn't facilitate you taking the phone, you have to tell us now, because if not, and Sam's like, no, this didn't happen, and we interview other girls, and they all have the same story, and yours is the only one story that's different, you're going to get more charges. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you want more charges. No, I don't. So, is what you told us about Sam's involvement true or not? Yes, mainly, yes. M not not okay. mainly, no, see, not mainly, not mostly. Sam was aware of the phone. She told you to get rid of it. She, In fact, did Sam give you the phone? Sam, Sam did not hand me the phone at the who store. Handed, who took you? So you took Ellie, the, Ellie left it in the bathroom. And you took it? And Yeah, she told me to. Okay. So an 18-year-old girl that you don't know, you don't even know her last name. I don't know most of them. Okay. So, 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 so you took the phone on your own because Ellie told you to? Yeah. Sam never told you to take the phone? No. Okay. These girls did Sam tell you to go throw the phone in the garbage can? No. Okay, so you did everything, right? You did everything. Yeah, they wanted me to get rid of it, though. Okay. All the, between all the okay. all these but girls. Okay, but, but do you understand what you just said? What you just said to us five minutes ago? Sam was going to get arrested and charged. No, she was... She, wanted... she was going to get arrested and charged if you... The story you just told us was just false. Okay. Sam didn't give you the phone. Sam didn't give you the phone to hold at your house overnight. And Sam didn't tell you to go throw it in the garbage can. But five minutes ago, you told us that. All these girls wanted me to get rid of the phone. All right. That's what they wanted. Am want. I missing something? Did, 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 I, did I interpret that wrong, Dave? No. Okay. I have nothing else. I have nothing else. So, okay. so this is what's going to happen. You're under arrest right now. Okay. We're going to go back there. We're going to process you. Um, the prosecutor's office wants us to attempt to call Ellie and find out what if Ellie's a real person. Girls? We're going to contact the phone numbers that we have. Okay? Okay. Based on our conversations with them, if it leads to more people, we will do, again... Our there might be more charges after the fact, but right now, to charge you, they just want us to call Ellie. Okay? We are going to call Sam, too, and find out what Sam knows. Okay? What about the other girls? We're going to... We, we, right now, I would suggest worrying about yourself and, and everything Sh you have Sh in front Shannon, of you. somebody at a store set telling you to take the phone isn't criminal. If I tell you to go steal a car, I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, I can say whatever I want. You, if I tell you to go steal a car and then you go steal a car on your own, that's on you. That's not on me. I didn't. Did, did any of these girls hold a gun to your head and say they were going to threaten you with violence if you didn't do this? No, they threatened me that I was going to lose my job. If, were, if you didn't take the phone? Yeah. How? They didn't. How are you, how are you going to lose your job for taking a phone that was found, right, and was left in the back? They were going to write me up. That's for what? what? I don't know. Okay. They said that they were just going to write me and up. And this was, this was Sam? Who? Well, that was going to write you up? No, all these girls. All these They're girls. They're not your managers, though, correct? No. Okay, so they have the power to do that. They could report. Okay, okay, Shannon. You're going to have to have a deep look inside yourself about truth-telling. Because basically, by 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday, we knew you had the phone. We knew you were lying to us. And you had how many opportunities to stop? And you're continuing to do it here. You're trying to... Tr I, I, I don't know what your past life has been, okay? I'm sorry if it's been bad and unfair. But minimizing your involvement and trying to blame everybody else or have this not take responsibility for what you did here is not helping. You. I am taking responsibility. Okay. Okay. I really am, though. Okay, but, but you understand, somebody saying take the phone is not the same as actually taking the phone. It's not the same as actually throwing it in a garbage can and quick check. It's not the same as telling, hey, somebody else threw the phone in a garbage can and quick check. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to go process you. You're going to get released on a summons. Okay? I'm happy you at least came in because if not, we would have been calling this and prosecutors this would have been going on a warrant. And then whenever you had law enforcement contact or we finally got in touch with you, you would have been getting lodged in a county jail. And I don't think you want that. So what, so what so goes on from now? You're going, you, we're going to process you. You're going to get some paperwork and you're going to have to appear in court. Mm -hmm. Okay? You understand that? All right. There's a female officer that's going to give you a thorough search before you go into the processing area. Okay. okay. I'm going to hold your phone until we're done. Okay. okay. So I'll take that. Is there like a time? Or? For how long are you going to be here? Yeah.
it's going to all depend on how fast we can go. If we have other emergency calls, if we have to run out in emergencies, you might sit here for four hours. Okay. okay. Can I just like let one of them know at the house, just so yes. that you're going to be here for a while? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Should I like just tell them a time in case I ask or something? There won't be a time. We can't okay. give you a time. Um, I'm just going to message his mom because he's at work. So yesterday you were wearing black pants, a black shirt, and a black hat. Yes. Just to get Should they bring, should they come and get me later on, just so I could put We'll we'll determine that as we get a little closer. Well, I'll give you I'll give you the option. You can you can use your phone. Either call them if they can get you. If not, we can bring you back. Okay. All right. Just so like. Sure. With the girls. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You can take your water for now. Too. Go. Want to go out to the left? You gonna follow her in? What do you need, John? They're going to be big in there, though. That's all right with you. Muting body camera for privacy. On the, huh? Where's Ellie's phone number? Which one's Ellie's? It's going to be on the other piece of paper I got. Oh, right there. Right there in the back. Um, no. I'm, I'll put it by your. Do you need the receipt? Do you want me to throw it out? No, I don't know when to throw it out. Right. Oh. Do, you, do you want me to save it or do you want me to chuck it? What does it say on it? Home, it's a Home Depot. Of course it is. Oh, it's my heater. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're good. Yeah, thank you. Spell your last name, R-E-A-L-M-U-T-O. Correct. Do you have any nicknames or anything? No. What's the best phone number for you? Have you ever been arrested? Uh, yes. How tall are you? Uh, five. Five. Wait, sorry. I'm sorry, what did you say? Wait. And then, Wait, uh, and then um, I apologize for asking. Um, um. <laughs> It should also be on that paper. On one of them, not in front of my desk. Do you wear glasses or contacts? No. Right handed, left handed? Right. <clears throat> Are you employed? Yes, Victoria's Secret, correct? Yes. Are you considered a salesman? What is it? Address. I do not. It's, Rockaway, it's Mall. Rockaway Mall. Okay. Yeah. Where were you born? Uh, Hackerstown Hospital. What do you want to put for your 
emergency contact? Um, my mother. Okay, what's her name? Uh, Sherry. S H E R R I. Same last name? Uh, no. I don't know how to spell her last name because it's Filipino. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, best, she, just, bet, then, she just got married, so I don't know. It starts with a V. It's like Via Lobos or something. But do you want to do her maiden name? Uh, yeah, you could put Lepre down. Spell that for me. L E P R E. Okay, her address? medical insurance? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you believe it is? Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do real quick to this. Just gonna step out for a little. You have very tiny lists. The annoying, tedious part, but once we get done with this, as long as nothing else comes up, it should be relatively quick, right? Um, the last time when you were arrested, did they go through pictures and, and fingerprints and anything like that? Yeah.
since you've been with. Um, so, yes. Where's that listing? So, it's QC 29 3B1. That's the destruction evidence. And QC 29 3B4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one yeah, generates. It doesn't generate this specifically, so I'll have to see what it does on the live scan. Okay. If it's different, it gave me less than 200 as the only option, so that's not what it is. So okay. I'll just that, see that, what that generates yeah. as. As far as your well-being, are, are you good where you're at right now with that household? You were saying your past is, is obviously not good. Are you? Are you? Oh uh, yeah. As best it can be. But his family is a good, strong support system. Yeah. It's like the most like family I've had. Of, like there's not even like blood. Yeah. Sometimes, regardless of blood or not, that's more important. Can you come see? Yes. Terminating the city of Spotty. Three Central transporting one female from post one to starting mileage one five three zero seven. And so you know, none of this gets post it anywhere. We don't do anything with that. I know some towns post everything online and do everything. We don't, we don't do any of that. So however you want to go about it, talking to, you know, I get it. Listen, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I don't talk to anybody. I don't do anything. I'd stay to myself. So I get it. Cause I know in the past, like they've posted videos and stuff like that. And I don't... Yeah, it's, it's a whole different sheet. How long, uh, how long do you not have your license for still? Um, I don't have it for, uh, let's say like, like it's supposed to be a year, but it's been like two, three months. Okay. So far. Okay. Did they offer you any sort of like driving, driving classes or anything to, to speed that up or anything? No. Okay. I know that's an option sometimes, like a defensive driving course or, or you know, the, on like a weekend for however long they may have you sit through a class that might speed it up. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that stinks. Mm-hmm. I actually, I, I've heard of a lot of companies just dropping and, and refusing to cover you after, after, depending on the incident. Hey, 
Dave, I sent you the location for the victim's house. Received. Uh, able to make contact? They're there? Yes, she's there. I told 1520. Thank you. Which road is it off of here? Maze back here. Yeah. You didn't grow up here, right? No. Yeah. I'm not so. Used to it at all. Uh, I'm I'm in the same boat. I'm all I'm all over the place half the time driving around the coals. Central arriving. Any mileage zero eight. Okay. Thank and again, you. like I you really said, if, if anything comes up and you need anything, by all means, you Thank can reach you. out. I right? Have a good one. Turn me in body camera.